Welcome back everyone to some more F1 Manager 2024. We're heading to the penultimate Grand Prix of the season. We have two more left including this one. Got four mil from sponsorship so that's great to see. It's Qatar time. Back of the grid in the constructor standings and also the drivers. We're throwing away this season preparing the car for the next one. And we're down to five mil because of the cost cap uh uh, what do we say abusing the cost cap I don't know uh, but we got bored reduced confidence we're working to sign Yuki Tsunoda but I don't think it'll happen considering he crashes the car every single other race uh, but yeah what I was trying to show you is this we got fined for going beyond the cost cap and it was 10 mil that's crazy just for going over the cost cap you're cr 10 mil that's how we lost 20 mil in a fortnight or overnight, essentially. Jeez Louise, that's scary. But anyway, let's head into this one, see how it goes. If you guys are enjoying the series, of course, make sure you leave a like and subscribe using the subscribe button down below. Really do appreciate your support. All right, so we are going to fill in our sponsor plan. Jack Doolin will be doing two uh, events this cycle but yeah we should be getting some good money 4.39 mil so confirm that so we've arrived at the Qatar Grand Prix weekend medium speed is important sprint race weekend it's warm and not expecting rain all right let's get into it don't think we can do well so p21 and higher is going to be our threshold and let's get into it so I just simulated the practice session and it seems like Mm, we are 94 with Behrman. What do we do? What do we do? Let me mess around with this for a bit. I think that's fine. Let's see if that works out for him. And meanwhile, for Jack Doohan, let's see what he can get. I think this might be a better option for him. We'll see. And let's put in the best possible engine components. Jack Doohan does not have any good components left. So we're just going to try and see this out see the season out with doing as long as he can keep the car moving we're in good shape meanwhile for bearman he still has some decent engine components remaining so yeah we're uh coming to the closing stages of the weekend so uh let's remove the extra fuel and let's go out there then let's see what kind of laps these guys can put together so bearman doing in decent positions Sonoda in between the two cars who can build etc gets out of the way that's good bearman coming around to complete his lap what kind of lap time is it goes top of the table what is with this weird we delta already one. okay that's weird 1.7 behind Sonoda and Duan is where? Behind Behrman by 3 seconds to Sonoda and 1.2 to Behrman. Wow, he just stopped in the middle of the track. Very dangerous. But yeah, finally the right times are going in. That's good. So unfortunately, Behrman had a yellow sector 1, green sector 2. Can he find about a tenth somewhere? No, he cannot. Finishes P18 for him. Doing still finishing his lap. Let's see, two yellow sectors, so he's not going to improve either. I mean, his engine is completely kaput anyway, so... P19 for Behrman. Yep, that's curtains then for us. It's a quick and easy SQ1 exit. P19 and P22. At least we could aim for P21 at some point. Leclerc in P20, that is quite surprising with Joby also in the sandwich between Behrman and Duan with Bottas and Albon ahead. So let's see how the sprint race goes. So an easy one or an easy just no stop run on the mediums. Uh, we're not doing any stops. It's obviously the sprint race. 93%, 96% not to all shabby Alonso. So let's head into this one. Can we get at least P21? I don't know if that's only the Grand Prix. I think it's only the Grand Prix. But still, let's try our best here and see how well we can do in the sprint race. And that's it. Green flags waved and we're ready to go. Lights out and away we go. Let's see. Let's not tell Duan or Behrman to do anything rash. Let's just keep them on those basic neutral running options let's see how they perform here trying to stay close to Albon who is the next car ahead come on boys it's looking 
A-OK -okay at this time. We want to stay close, man. Keep pushing, Bearman. Keep pushing. Oh, he's already lost DRS, man. Already lost out DRS. Lost out to Gasly as well. Cry oh, he loses out to Leclerc as well. Man, this car is horrible, isn't it? And then, of course, Duan's going to fall far back because his engine, his gearbox is absolutely thin sheet metal at this point. Can we at least stay close to Gasly? Can we get a dose of DRS at the start finish straight? We'll let Duan burn his ERS here, that's fine. Alright, deploy now. Deploy now. We need we need that one second, bro. Can we get can we stay? No. Nope. He lost out. No DRS. No DRS. Yellow flags. Two cars off. It's safety car. Safety car. That is an intense crash by the looks of it. It's a Mercedes and a red. Uh, it's an RB instead. George Russell trying to go for a move. Is it two DNFs here? Did both cars retire? Quite possibly. His rear wing's gone. Come on, really, says George Russell. Okay, Toto Wolf smashing his headphones into the table for sure with that one. Safety car. Let's charge and relax everything. Russell retired. Nice. Okay, Russell and Ricardo both out. So Duan making it up into P20 already. So he's guaranteed a good spot, a good finishing spot, I think. Again, I think it only relies on the Grand Prix result to be above P21. But still, good result for now. Time penalty for Ricardo, 5 seconds. Oh, we're up into P13 and P15 as some cars decide to pit. Oh my god, can you stop? My gosh. Alright, we're getting ready for the restart, so let's get ready to go aggressive. Okay, you can go a little faster here, and let's get going. And we're already dragging. So much drag in the car. Alright. We're at it. Look at this traffic. We're ahead of them. We might be the cork in the bottle, but we'll see. Telling them to push. 15 laps to go. Come on, Bearman. Let's drive. Let's have some fun. You're in a Formula 1 car. I know it's crap, but still, try your best. Have some fun. Oh, someone went off, I think. That's Magnuson. Magnuson went straight on. And here we've got a yellow flag. So that's another position gained. Might be a P18, P19. But let's try our best here. Bearman, just keep going. We might get another huge crash. Gotta recharge the battery. Anyway. Losing out to a kick Sauber. Zhou Guan Yu possibly getting past. Nope. Not today, says Behrman. But definitely we need to recharge here. Come on. Recharge the battery. Okay, I think Duan's getting a dose of DRS. Nice. He's getting some DRS here. Down the start finish straight on Bottas. But he's not going to be able to do much with it. His car is really slow. From the poor engine. Behrman down two spots as Norris and Leclerc get past. Joe fighting him. Please keep it clean. It is clean. Nice. We're going to try and go neutral now. Let's see if that charges up the battery. Exceeding track limits a little bit, a bit there for both Joe and Behrman. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Oh, lost out to Alonso there for Behrman and the Haas of Hülkenberg. We are going backwards. Alright, no matter what we try, we're going backwards. Just can't... Oh, shoving Magnussen wide. What a defensive move from Behrman going ultra aggressive with the defense. Shoving Magnussen wide. But right now, it's looking like yeah, the car is just not fast enough. So we'll have to feed off the scraps of crashes. Ricardo and Russell crashing was a huge plus. But I think this is it. Alright, Duan's officially been lapped by the leader, Max Verstappen. 
So he his race is essentially done here. Bearman still working on it from P19. But I think it's over essentially. P19, P20. Not too shabby. Oh god. Maybe I should go. That. And Max wins it. And Duan finishes P20. Alright. What about Bearman? Just bring it home. And P19. Not bad. I mean, hey. P19, P20. Thankfully, due to Russell and Ricardo crashing out, I will take that result. So we can make some minor adjustments. Move the front wing angle and the tire camber a little bit to see if that gives Bearman a little more setup satisfaction. As for Duan, let's see what we can do here. Let's try this out. Let's see if that gives Duan a little more confidence. And without further ado, let's jump into qualifying for the Grand Prix. Not expecting insane laps, but let's see where Behrman put his, puts his car. 126.3. And then what about Duan as he attempts to cross the line here? Boom. Four seconds behind Behrman. Yikes, his car is really struggling after the gearbox is now on 22% wear. Ouch. Darn. We're out of time. I thought Behrman could come in and do another lap, but no, he's done. He did not improve on his second lap, so we're back at the grid now. It's always the second lap curse in this game. It makes no sense. How is he on fresh tires and not able to improve? It makes no sense to me. Well, we're at the back of the grid with Joe, Bottas, Ocon, and Albon also out. I think we fared fairly well last time out, but now uh, let's see if anything has changed. Doing with 100% car set up, Behrman with 95. He's still not comfortable with it, but we should be good. Two stop strategy, hard, hard, medium for Behrman, medium, medium, hards for Doing. Let's just start this race and see how it goes. All right, then another green flags way for the Grand Prix. Now let's hope we can finish P21 and higher here. Lights out and away we go. We will not tell them to push. We can give that a go again this time out. Let's see how our two drivers fare. P18 for Behrman. About to become P19 as the soft tire runners have some fun here on the fresh rubber. But we'll see. Can we stay competitive while on the hard tires? Losing a lot of pace. Let's we'll see. He is coming in and out of that DRS range on Albon. Let's see if he can make it stay. Whoa, what was that? Albon had a brake check moment there. Alright, we're outside DRS on Albon. Joe right behind trying to get past and he does on those soft tires. Sergeant also behind. Dewin following nicely at the back. We need another major crash, please. Please crash someone. Or Bottas retire with that engine issue. Okay, we're still close. Empty the battery for that DRS. Come on. Okay, that's fine. Nice. DRS. Oh no! Oh my. No worries. Safety car deployed. Safety car deployed. I don't have any front wings. We have to go onto the other set of hards. Confirm pit. <sighs> It's a, it's a series of crashes, like, how? How, uh, how are we getting crashes, like, literally every other race? Or every race, I don't know. This is what's causing me to lose cost cap, man. No way are the rookies this... Okay, he's retired. At least Duan gets his money. As long as he Duan stays on track, he gets his money. Alright. That's fine. Ah. Uh. I don't get it, man. I don't. Bearman with the penalty, of course, five seconds. I, I just don't get it. Everyone's pitting. 
for the first tire. I mean, they were on softs. So obviously, they're gonna go onto the mediums or hards. Yep, safety car in this lap. Okay, safety car is in. Let's go attack, push, and deploy. And I think Duan just had a lockup. I don't know if he did. Yeah, he locked up. Ah, uh, Duan. Chaos, man. Chaos. Yeah, man. Full focus ahead. Just drive the bloody car. Risk fault is low, really? Gearbox is low apparently, even though it's on 22%. We may have broken that, I don't know. We'll see. Losing out to Pettis. Yeah, Duan's falling. Perez, Hamilton, Alonso probably down the straight. Yep. We are falling down the order. Stroll, Russell as well. Bottas about to come through as well. Well, that's it. We lost three positions down the straight. That's how slow our car is. That's how draggy it is. Although, with the research we did, we should have a competitive car next season. Not gonna lie. We should have a competitive car next season. But I don't know if I'm gonna get fired or not. Because I'm in this perpetual pit of death. Like, literally, I'm in the sand pit, quick sand pit, and I'm just constantly falling down. Because of the stupid crashes these drivers are doing, and because my cost cap is, like, literally inexistent. Like, if I use a little bit more money, I'm going to be in so much debt that I'll need to sell everything. Like, our car's worthless. No one wants to buy this, you know? Ay, ay, ay. We're at the back of the grid already. As I did that rant, we're at the back of the grid. You gotta love it. And just like that, Duan is getting lamped by the leaders. Leclerc gets through, Norris gets through. And it's time for his pit stop. So let's get him close to the pit lane and let's observe how the pit stop goes. It's still the old format where the entry is still before the last corner. We're so far behind, it's incredible. We're moving on to the hards, hard tires. Let's see. No issue here, three seconds, you love to see it. Beautiful. All right, let's keep going. Doing just need to keep this car alive and just keep going. No pressure, please. No pressure. Oh, no. Doing terminal damage. I mean, hey, I think even though... Ah, oh, safety car deployed. We're done. The gearbox gave out. I thought he could finish this race, but... Oh, double DNF. This is bad. Ah, oh, this is bad. I need to pay more money to get a new gearbox for doing. Unless... He still has one gearbox left, actually. He still has one gearbox left. Oh, we're cooked. Look, we're cooked. We're absolutely cooked. Yeah, we're done. Anyway, that was it for the Grand Prix. Then we tried. Absolute failure. Absolute failure. Leclerc's gap to Verstappen was 10 seconds and he lost it. Thanks to us. We sent out the safety car. We are literally the Gotifi team. We bring the drama to the track. So, yeah. I mean, I think I still do get the money because P21 is Behrman. P20 is Duan. So, essentially, we'll get that money that we are owed for P21 and higher. Safety car ending. We have about half the Grand Prix left. So, we'll see how this ends. This is going to be quite interesting. Ooh, Verstappen mounting a comeback here on Leclerc. He had about a second, 1.8 second gap. Oh, he's falling back again as he runs out of ERS. Signs, though. Can he mount a comeback on Verstappen? Let's see. Things are getting spicy in the top three for sure. Pettis trying to fight his way back into the top five or top four with a battle with Piastri. And he does. Piastri Pettis. Gets ahead. What will happen to this battle on the top step of the podium? In the top five at least. Seems like everyone has a decent gap between each other. I don't know. Bottas has a mechanical fault. He'll probably retire. Album might retire as well. 
So we might be only 17 cars running soon. Qatar not being nice to the cars. Alright, so Botas is out with a mechanical fault. I think Albon will also be out. He might retire here because it's a red exclamation point. That might be a terminal failure issue. Ricardo mechanical fault as well, so he's in trouble. Signs with a mechanical problem as well. Verstappen takes the lead. Leclerc lost out to him. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is surprising indeed. Verstappen closing in on Ocon and laps him. Leclerc struggling to keep up with Verstappen, even if he has, even though he has the fastest lap. Okay. This is getting intense now with three laps left. I think Verstappen's won it. He surely has. Wow. What a turn of events. Leclerc was solidly in the lead and then Verstappen just snatches it away from him. Wild. Final lap. Verstappen, take a bow. Take a bow. Wow. Verstappen's won it. Leclerc P2, Sainz P3 with Paris P4. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's impressive. I mean, overall, poor day for us, but we did get P21 and P20, uh, P19, apparently. So that's brilliant. So we do get the money, I think. We are just the worst car on the grid. Uh, no pit stop points. We still can't see where we are here. Only a three-second pit stop for doing. Whoa, I did get 21 and higher, man. Even though it was a DNF, we did get P21 higher. Oh, I got cheated of no money. Zero. Nada. Ah, oh, that's a shame.